Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on physical modeling of isothermal and non isothermal system. So, uh, we talked about the Reynolds as well as the fraud similarity and uh, in this class we will talk about the aspects of physical modeling uh, when we talk about the isothermal as well as the non isothermal system. So, when we do the aqueous modeling, so we will also discuss about it uh, in our later classes. So, in that case uh, we take the you know, water as uh, the common fluid and uh, if you talk about the modeling, so it can be done either in an isothermal manner or uh, you have to take uh, even the uh, thermal considerations. So, in that case the thermal similarity has to be kept in mind. So, so how you know which type of dimensionless numbers are going to come in uh, these cases. So, in this lecture we are going to have the brief discussion about uh, those aspects. So, as we know that uh, you may have uh, uh, the uh, counter with the uh, either the isothermal system or the non isothermal system. Isothermal system means uh, uh, when we are not taking into account the uh, temperature difference we are uh, uh, just ignoring the effect of uh, you know the buoyancy forces or we, we are ignoring the effect of any kind of uh, temperature gradient in the melt. So, that kind of uh, system is basically the uh, isothermal uh, system and uh, in these cases uh, you know the importance and validity of Reynolds and fraud modeling criteria uh, can be examined by considering the relevant forces acting in this model system uh, with isothermal flow. So, basically you will have uh, to examine uh, you know these uh, Reynolds as well as the uh, fraud uh, modeling criteria. So, you know uh, as you know that the forces which are normally uh, you know uh, taken into consideration in these uh, uh, you know uh, cases are uh, the inertial forces, viscous forces and the uh, gravitational forces. So, uh, we know that uh, uh, we, we are basically uh, also certainly must, must be knowing about these uh, you know role of these uh, forces. So, if you talk about the inertial force, so they give rise to the convective flow or the uh, convective momentum transfer. So, basically these things take place because of the uh, inertial forces. Then you have the uh, viscous force. So, viscous force which will lead to the viscous or uh, diffusive uh, momentum transfer. So, that is how you know uh, uh, these uh, viscous force uh, role becomes. Now, uh, what happens that uh, you may have either the laminar flow or maybe the uh, turbulent flow. So, as you know that in the laminar flow the uh, molecular viscosity of the fluid uh, causes the exchange between the adjacent fluid layers and uh, result in the diffusive momentum transfer. So, that is what the uh, trait of the uh, laminar flow is and in that you talk about the molecular uh, you know uh, viscosity also. So, that uh, comes into picture in, in the case of uh, uh, laminar flow. Whereas, uh, in the case of uh, turbulent flows if you uh, recall then here the diffusive momentum transfer is not only because of the uh, you know molecular uh, at the molecular level or exchange of the molecules, but it will be also because of the exchange of eddies. So, eddy eddies are of uh, different length and uh, they, they are exchanging that over uh, the relatively large distances known as the uh, eddy lengths. So, so, that basically is of uh, very very you know uh, large value. So, that is what is uh, you know happening 
uh, in the case of the uh, turbulent flows. So, uh, in the turbulent flow the diffusive momentum transfer uh, depends upon the effective viscosity and not on the uh, molecular viscosity. So, basically what happens that uh, when we talk about the effective viscosity, so it will be nothing but the summation of the molecular viscosity and the turbulent viscosity. So, uh, the, the diffusive momentum transfer which will be you know uh, calculated it will be basically based on these uh, both these factors like you have uh, molecular uh, you know viscosity as well as the uh, turbulent viscosity and both uh, taking into account. So, the Reynolds number similarity is uh, very important in the uh, laminar flows, uh, but uh, becomes less important in the uh, turbulent uh, flow modeling because as you know that in that case the, the molecular viscosity which is there. So, that uh, uh, that is not only the sole criteria uh, for uh, having the uh, determin determination of uh, uh, the parameters like for the uh, calculation of the calculation of the momentum transfer or so. So, in that case uh, it becomes less important in the case of uh, the uh, you know uh, turbulent flow. So, uh, fraud number uh, is important where both inertial and uh, gravitational forces are acting on the fluid. So, uh, if you look at um, the uh, the other uh, you know number the fraud number. So, in that that we know that it is a ratio of inertial to gravity force uh, gravitational force gravity force. So, uh, in that uh, you have um, you know uh, this is uh, becoming important when uh, both these uh, forces are uh, acting on the liquid. So, that time your uh, uh, fraud number becomes uh, important and uh, it becomes important in those cases uh, especially uh, especially it, its use is there in the case of inclusion flotation because in the case of inclusion flotation uh, the the particle shape uh, you know which we take it and the particle which is there inside the melt so that is uh, uh, you know that will be exp uh, uh, subjected to these uh, forces and they will try to you know collease or they may try to uh, float. So, this uh, uh, fraud number that uh, uh, this uh, uh, fraud number similarity that is uh, uh, to be uh, taken into account when you have uh, both inertial as well as the uh, uh, gravitational forces are acting and mostly they are uh, you know uh, useful when we talk about the uh, inclusion flow modeling. So, if you uh, talk about the you know momentum balance equation if you recall. So, uh, your uh, momentum balance uh, you know uh, for the uh, turbulent flow uh, in the tundis because in the tundis normally the flow is considered to be uh, turbulent itself. So, uh, your uh, momentum balance equation will be uh, you know it will be like uh, rho uh, v i v j upon rho x j. So, this is your uh, steady state uh, you know momentum balance equation. So, uh, the, it takes this uh, form. So, you will have uh, the pressure term. So, you will have dou, dou p by dou x i and then your uh, 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 term comes this convective term. So, that it will be your dou by dou x j and uh, then you have uh, you for if you talk about the uh, uh, turbulent uh, flow situation in that case you will have the effective viscosity uh, coming to picture in place of the molecular viscosity and uh, then you have uh, the term that is dou v i by dou x j plus dou v j upon dou x i. So, so that is how your uh, momentum balance equation for the uh, turbulent flow uh, looks like and uh, if you uh, try to analyze uh, you know uh, this uh, uh, if you go for the dimensionless uh, form of this equation then it will yield uh, the, uh, the dimensionless number and that will be uh, you know in, in the laminar case it will, you are getting the Lenners uh, number. And in the case of the turbulent flow, you have uh, the uh, origination of uh, the turbulent Reynolds number and that is uh, denoted by Reynolds number T. So, that is your 
uh, turbulent uh, Reynolds number that is uh, found and it, it becomes uh, rho uh, V L upon eta effective. So, that is how you know uh, this uh, number is this dimensionless number uh, this uh, dimensionless uh, number is defined and uh, for uh, you know for having the for maintaining that similarity uh, you know uh, between two dundices which have the uh, turbulent flows. So, you will have to see that uh, you know uh, this they must have there must be similarity uh, you know uh, each term in the dimensionless form should have uh, uh, you know the uh, same value in uh, both the systems. So, in the model as well as in the actual system each term must be uh, same and uh, you know uh, uh, it, it is uh, assumed that uh, when you are talking about the, this, that kind of system in that case apart from the uh, you know geometric similarity your uh, turbulent Reynolds number also uh, should be same. So, that has been uh, uh, you know found by uh, many authors it has been uh, there has been uh, you know modeling studies water modeling studies uh, carried out by uh, many researchers especially by Sahai and Emi and then apart from that there are many researchers who have uh, 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 worked on this and, and they have found it that uh, this Reynolds uh, number turbulent Reynolds number you know uh, that uh, also should be uh, you know uh, the similarity in this uh, in the value of this turbulent Reynolds number should also be uh, maintained. Coming to uh, the non isothermal uh, system. So, in, in most of the cases the um, uh, system becomes uh, non isothermal because uh, the temperature uh, cannot be said to be uh, uniform. So, in actual practice the system is uh, non isothermal uh, because the temperature is uh, uh, varying. So, in actual continuous casting practice uh, the melt flow conditions may become non isothermal because of many reasons like heat losses. So, heat loss may take place either from the uh, you know top surface or uh, from the uh, walls. So, there may be heat loss uh, you know uh, from these uh, you know, places so, that uh, will lead to the change in the temperature. So, the situation cannot be said to be completely an isothermal case. So, uh, then other uh, you know cases may be like temperature of the inlet stream into the tundis it is different from the ladder. So, uh, you know uh, whatever is uh, you know entering uh, so that is uh, different from that ladder. So, that uh, you know or there may be uh, the temperature variation at the tundis inlet stream and at the at some of the corners inside the tundis. So, because of these uh, temperature differences uh, the, uh, the buoyancy uh, you know comes into picture and uh, it has been seen that uh, when uh, you know uh, when uh, such a is the case. So, uh, when we talk about the, uh, the uh, such cases in that case uh, you know the uh, non isothermal aspects are to be taken into account. So, uh, you will have uh, uh, to see that you will have uh, the different uh, you know uh, kind of dimensionless uh, groups uh, will be coming whose uh, you know considerations will be there for uh, having the similarity analysis. So, uh, you know so now it would be useful if water modeling could account for the non isothermal aspects of fluid flow phenomena. So, you will have to have the you know uh, considerations of uh, these non isothermal behaviors uh, you know uh, which uh, remains in practice. So, if you go to the uh, you know non isothermal system. So, uh, in that case if you uh, talk about the uh, you know uh, momentum balance equation. So, the momentum balance equation uh, for the uh, turbulent uh, for turbulent non isothermal flow your uh, you know uh, your uh, momentum balance equation uh, will uh, go like this. 
So, it will be uh, dou by dou t of uh, rho v i plus uh, you have uh, dou by uh, dou x uh, uh, j of uh, rho uh, v i v j and then uh, that will be equal to uh, you know dou by dou x j of uh, uh, eta effective that is your effective viscosity is coming to picture in place of molecular viscosity in case of turbulent flow then you have uh, dou v i upon uh, dou x j plus dou v j upon dou x i. So, and then uh, you have uh, the pressure term that is dou p by dou x i and in here you will have uh, another term uh, is coming because of the uh, difference in the uh, density. So, it will be rho minus rho reference and it is multiplied by the g i. So, this is uh, uh, you know taking that uh, buoyancy force into account. So, this this term uh, this term is basically uh, taken into account for the uh, buoyancy force per unit volume. So, uh, now this is because of the uh, difference in the um, uh, density which is uh, arising you know, uh, you know throughout the uh, fluid body. So, that is why it is uh, uh, coming. Now, if you take the, uh, the beta as the coefficient of thermal expansion. So, in that case, so if uh, beta is uh, coefficient of thermal expansion. of the fluid. Now, in that case uh, you know uh, uh, you can uh, write that uh, beta is nothing but minus 1 by uh, rho reference and it will be uh, dou rho by dou t at pressure. Uh, so, at constant pressure. So, this is uh, how the beta is defined. So, if you take a very small uh, you know variation in if you take that uh, density variation to be very very small, so that will be rho minus rho reference. So, in that case this rho minus rho reference will be uh, beta into rho reference into uh, then this will be uh, delta t. So, uh, for small variation in density you can write that uh, is rho minus rho reference that is the rho. So, that will be equal to minus of beta into rho reference and then you will have delta t. So, uh, rho reference is the uh, reference uh, density and uh, in that case the uh, this never stroke equation can be further rewritten. So, your rho minus rho reference is uh, defined as uh, minus of beta rho reference and delta t. So, that term will come here. So, if you go to the uh, you know uh, the, to this uh, never stroke equation. So, that can be further written as uh, dou by uh, dou t of rho v i plus uh, you have dou by dou x j of uh, you know rho v i v j and that will be equal to dou by dou x j of uh, eta effective and then you will have dou v i by dou x j plus dou v j upon dou x i and uh, then uh, you have the pressure term dou p by uh, dou x i and then you have this rho minus rho reference uh, that term come uh, has come. So, that will be rho and uh, reference into uh, beta into delta t and then you have uh, g i. So, this term is uh, you know uh, coming uh, uh, you know once uh, you have the uh, buoyancy which is there in the case of turbulent flow when you are taking the non isothermal conditions. Now, uh, if you talk about the uh, when we talk about the non isothermal conditions then we also talk about the conservation of energy equation. So, your equation for conservation of energy. So, uh, that will have its own form and it will be uh, like uh, dou of rho C p t upon uh, dou of t and then you will have uh, uh, you will have rho dou of rho C p t v j 
upon uh, dou of x uh, j. So, that will be equal to dou by dou x j and you will have k effective and uh, dou t by dou x j. So, uh, if you uh, look at uh, these terms, so you will have uh, k effective is nothing but the effective thermal conductivity which is there in the case of uh, the uh, turbulent flow. So, in the case of turbulent flow you will have the effective thermal conductivity that will be because of molecular as well as the uh, turbulent part. So, that is how these uh, you know uh, it will be the summation of the uh, molecular and the uh, uh, the uh, turbulent uh, thermal conductivities. So, uh, these together they will be uh, governing these uh, uh, you know flow dynamics in the uh, system. So, uh, and, and also you will have the uh, temperature at the inlet, so you will have boundary conditions at the inlet. So, uh, if you talk about the uh, boundary condition uh, at inlet, so uh, it will be uh, T will be T inlet. So, it will be it will be the ladle stream temperature. Now, if you talk about this equation and if this equation is you know we try to write in the case of in a non dimensional form. So, you will have the non dimensional forms like rho v star rho star v star. So, you are non dimensionalizing it. Uh, every term is non dimensionalized. So, if you non dimensionalize uh, this uh, Navier stroke equation, so non dimensionalizing what you uh, get is uh, you will be uh, getting these uh, terms like uh, you will have uh, dou of rho star, then you will have uh, V i star upon dou t, plus uh, you will have uh, next term is. Uh, you know dou by dou x j star. So, you will have uh, rho star v i star and v j star. So, these are the non dimensional uh, you know uh, terms then uh, that will be equal to dou by uh, dou x j star. So, you will have uh, uh, you know uh, this is effective uh, uh, viscosity and uh, that will be uh, you know uh, divided by rho uh, reference and uh, this will be V L. So, that is uh, coming from this side. So, that rho reference V L uh, will be coming to this side. So, this is the reference uh, that effective viscosity divided by rho reference V L. So, this is nothing but the, the Reynolds uh, uh, you know term that will be uh, coming here. And uh, then you have uh, dou of uh, V i star upon dou of x j star plus dou of V j star upon dou of x i star. So, that is you know non dimensionalizing uh, these terms. So, and then uh, you will have uh, dou p star upon uh, dou x i star. So, that is uh, uh, the non dimensionalizing these terms. And then what you see is that uh, your term which uh, remains here that will be uh, beta uh, delta T L upon V square into G i. So, this is uh, the you know uh, when you write uh, the this, this, this equation in the non dimensional form then this uh, comes into uh, this shape. And, uh, if you write the uh, non dimensional form of the uh, thermal energy uh, conservation equation that can further be written as uh, dou of rho star t star upon dou t that is star plus dou of rho star t star and then v j star and uh, this will be divided by dou of x j star. So, that will be uh, dou of dou x j. So, it will be uh, k effective by uh, you know rho reference and C p and V l. So, that uh, C p is uh, coming from this side. So, that will be C p into V l and uh, you will have uh, dou t star upon uh, dou x j star. So, your uh, uh, these terms uh, are, are coming. And in that case, uh, you will have uh, these uh, non-dimensional number, which is uh, 
uh, defined uh, here and your uh, non dimensional temperature which is uh, defined T star. So, that is uh, defined by uh, T minus T naught by uh, T inlet minus T naught. So, it will be T minus T naught uh, by delta T naught. So, this is how you are um, you know having uh, the definition and uh, this is how you are get, getting those forms. Now, uh, what you see this term if you uh, refer to uh, this uh, you know term what you see from here you are uh, um, uh, finding certain dimensionless groups. Now, that dimensionless group which is uh, coming up that is one is 1 by uh, Reynolds turbulent Reynolds number and that is becoming uh, eta effective uh, divided by rho reference V L that is what is uh, you are getting eta effective by rho reference V L. So, this uh, number you are getting and this is nothing but the inverse of the uh, turbulent Reynolds number. Then uh, next is uh, you are getting the uh, you know one number which you are which is defined as the Tundish Richardson number. This is uh, coming from uh, uh, here this is uh, uh, you know this this number which is uh, coming this is known as the, uh, the, the Tundish Richardson number which is because of the buoyancy. So, the, we will talk about how this is defined. So, this is uh, nothing but beta then you have delta T naught then you have L and G i divided by V square. Uh, and uh, one more uh, you know uh, uh, you know number which is uh, coming here. So, if you look at this this is nothing but the inverse of the uh, product of the uh, Prandtl uh, turbulent Prandtl number and turbulent Reynolds number. So, uh, this is uh, nothing but 1 by Prandtl number turbulent Prandtl number and uh, turbulent Reynolds number. So, this comes as so, this is uh, this term this is k effective upon uh, uh, rho effective. So, you will have k effective upon uh, rho reference and you have C p into v into L. So, uh, what you see is that C p by k. So, uh, k mu comes like uh, that. So, uh, so that is your Prandtl. So, this is one ref this is the uh, you know uh, inverse of this product of uh, these two numbers that is uh, Prandtl turbulent Prandtl number and the uh, turbulent Reynolds number. So, uh, these are the you know uh, dimensionless groups which uh, are coming you know, when we talk about uh, uh, the non isothermal system and, and they need to be you know constant and it is uh, uh, coming when we talk uh, uh, you know uh, which we when we derive uh, these thermal energy uh, balance equation. So, uh, you know uh, already we have seen that the Reynolds uh, similarity has to be uh, there. So, uh, and, and, and if you uh, see that if the um, uh, Prandtl uh, uh, number is assumed to be constant in that case that similarity is also you know maintained. So, that is also satisfied. The, the only uh, number which is needs to be satisfied is the uh, this uh, number T u that is Tundish Richardson number. Now, if you look at uh, uh, this number, so uh, it is nothing but it can be related to uh, somewhere it is related to the fraud uh, uh, number. So, fraud number is V square of this. So, if you take this term, so you have only uh, this term extra. So, basically it has certain similarity. Uh, with the uh, fraud number. So, uh, you know if you uh, look at uh, this uh, Tundish number. So, if you see this Tundish number is uh, nothing but you you can write it as grace of by uh, Reynolds square. So, uh, this is uh, this number is uh, you know given that uh, Richardson number Tundish Richardson number. So, if it is uh, nothing but it is it is coming as G L beta delta T naught divided by V square. So, it is nothing but the um, ratio of the buoyancy force and uh, that will be uh, divided by the inertial force. 
So, uh, you know this buoyancy force is uh, resulting from the uh, non-uniform uh, temperature distribution inside the uh, tundis and uh, this uh, basically causes the uh, flow profiles to be changed many a times. So, it has been seen that because of this the uh, flow profile in the tundis will be changed as compared to what is uh, uh, being seen in the case of the isothermal system. And so, uh, you know, uh, you know you it is it is said that if uh, this is uh, uh, satisfied, so this needs to be satisfied if the similarity has to be maintained. So, it can be concluded that if you uh, maintain the constancy bit, uh, of these uh, uh, Tundis Richardson number, then the uh, you know uh, uh, it means the ratio of the buoyancy force and the inertial force is uh, you know uh, is uh, satisfied. So, that will be uh, you know of the, of the, the, the two system will be same the ratio of these two forces and it will be satisfying the dynamic similarity of the uh, model as well as the prototype. So, this when we talk about these uh, non isothermal system this is there is another I mean additional uh, this uh, type of uh, one more dimension, dimensionless form uh, a number is uh, you know uh, coming into picture that is your Richardson number. So, we can uh, we can see its effect how it affects. So, when we talk about the studies on uh, uh, on the heat transfer uh, studies inside the Tundis then we will have a, uh, a view of its effect. Thank you very much.